Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're checking out how to create these line effects in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, first step, make sure that you're on the field. Click on the field. I'm going to select the color. I'm going to go with black. Select the rectangle. Create a stripe. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to select the free transform tool or the shortcut is the letter E. So now I drag it to the right, press and hold shift plus alt plus control. So you can see the shortcuts in there and I'm going to make this really narrow. And for the second one, actually, I'm going to select the rectangle and create a wide one. I'm going to make a more wider one, actually, like something like this. Okay, select both, go to object, go to blend, click on make. I'm going to double click here on the blend. Select specify steps, decrease the number. I gotta go with more, make it dense. So here in this area, gonna be black. Click OK. I gotta put this here, create a new copy. Select, go to object, expand, click OK. And I gotta press and hold all, create a new copy, right click, transform, reflect, and select vertical, click on, click on OK. And I gotta pull these together. I gotta select all. Go to Pathfinder and click on Unite. If you don't have the Pathfinder, go to Windows, select the Pathfinder. I'm going to make it taller, something like this. I'm going to go to Object, go to Compound Path and click on Make. I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to select the Type tool, which is here. I'm going to type in the letter M, scale it up. I'm going to go with Montserrat. There you go. I'm going to select I'm going to go to Object, Expand, click OK. And now I'm going to select the lines. I'm going to press and hold Shift, Rotate once. And make sure that the letter M is on the top. So right click, Arrange, bring to front, select both, right click, Make Clipping Mask. So it looks something like this. But you can also arrange this. I'm going to double click on this. So as you can see, it highlighted. So what I'm going to do is scale it up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make it like this, but it can be customized however, however you like. I can also press shift, rotate it like this, scale it. And this is how you work with these effects. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.